everybody to do one and two, to more so that I've read the hands here. By God, it has been too long. Believe me, believe it or not, those five episodes you've been watching, I recorded about a month ago. So this is going to be interesting. Okay, so the last time we helped Almond do some deliveries. <laughs> this time I'm going to be heading off to the new part of the world, Bassett. One, two, three, let's go. Chapter seven, the door opens. I don't know why the dot 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 there. Your guess is as good as mine. So here we are. Well, we made it to Bassett. What next? Bassett doesn't have a mayor, so you should... Where should the crystal stone be? In Spinon, the crystal stone was hidden in a shrine, so... Maybe we should start by looking for something like that here, too. Sounds like a plan. Let's gather any get info on any shrines here. Uh, shrines and, and right off the bat we have one of you. Sunbathing photo. What do you got to say? A shrine you say? I'm here about I don't think we have one. I'm curious what's down here. There's lots of places for you to explore and get um, pea crystals and money. The only problem is that uh, you can only go in them at set points, at set plot points, which is slightly annoying. Because I always forget which plot points you want. Shine that I know of. Collie might know something. Turn right, Collie should be. Should pop by. I saw something shiny. Can I get the shiny? There, shiny. He goes to one point. Excellent. What have you got? Hermit crab hunting! They need to be hung to rank 5, so make sure you do those quests! Oh, hello. Um, it's still going. We should be okay. I, I, I don't know what that was. Maybe it's a system dying on me. I really hope that's not the case, because I don't make these anymore. <laughs> Culture in front of the fishing spot, which is just up there. So we should be alright. Okay, let's go. Let's go see this collie. Holly is down that way. I want to go and see Tall to Strong Man. Most famous thing about Bassett, did he say? I can't remember. I wasn't looking. Sorry. Take one of your quests to take care of your hermit crab problem. Waiting for you. My robot is in the shop, so I've got to think about it myself. However, your robot isn't quite ready yet either. Attach this to it first. A robot arm? What's this with this chain and winding device? You can attach a harpoon to that chain, fire into a hermit crab, and run reel it in. I get it, that only makes sense. Chocolate, can you touch this? Sure, I'll only take a moment to wait, just wait right there. And made his day off. Right. This is fishing. This is not the this is not the last time you'll do this. Well, this is the first time it's the only thing you only have to do it once in the story, I think. But if you want to get some good items, such as a 15p crystal. You want to do this. So it's like Tarpoon. We only have the choice of uh, one. Yes, each Harpoon has its own parameters. Yes, 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 yes. We can only use this, the cheap Harpoon for now. Um, as you go up, just keep using the. Uh, as you do this outside, because outside of the story, I reckon go straight to Gungnir. It is the most expensive. But at this point, you should have a, have a fair bit of money, so you should be alright. Uh, but uh, don't. It's the easiest one to use. And I'll admit, I've gotten so used to using this one that I'm actually kind of shit with the cheap harpoon. So I may miss this one. I'll be honest. But anyway, cheap harpoon. Now uh, there's three fishing spots, not the. F uh, yeah, higher rank fishing spots have better catches. The best one is. Um, no, there's four of them. Novice, Veteran, Master, and Collie's Secret Spot. As you get better, Gangnir and Collie's Secret Spot will get you loads of points, because you will get points for doing this, and you can use those points to spend with Collie to get items such as that those, those pea crystals, which is very useful. You also get rare parts, and that's about all I remember right off the top of my head. But it's good, it's good stuff. You you want to you wanna do this in your, in your free time. I'll be doing this off screen. Let's start fishing! Okay, the mechanics to this. Well, about to be explained. With the crosshair, with the control pad, press A to fire the harpoon. 
in Return Heaven appears and hit it with a harpoon. Ideally, you want to pick one that appears close to you. Like that one right there. Makes things a little bit easier. Now, this is when I put a, my DS on the gr on here. What you want to do is tap A and hold down the uh, the direction of the control pad. So it says pull left, hold down the left uh, pad on the control pad. It says right, hold down right. It says up, hold on, hold on up. And it says down, pull down, hold down down. And keep tapping A. It'll be easier to pull in. You get a little gauge on the right, on the left even, which t which tells you how far you're overheating. It will go up faster if you're holding down the wrong control pad. Control pad. Uh, once it gets to a certain point, you, it'll overheat and you have to release, which gives the hermit crab a lot more chance to escape, which is annoying. But hey ho, this is why that's why I'm bad with it. Breathe cooling down. Yeah. So yeah, you've gotta pay attention. And I gotta uh, release that again. There's a chance I might lose this one. I'll admit. I'm doing pretty shit. Once that happens, I suggest dropping your DS, not too far, and just going nuts. Just tapping it. I use my index finger to tap this, because I can do it faster with my index finger than with my thumb. But, uh, just go. You can probably hear it. Look how close the going is in. So you can, you can you can get a load of... Yep, yeah, that's what I'm doing. You can get a load of, uh... Air, you can cover a lot of area uh, by doing the tapping of the button. I seem to be doing quite well, which is unusual. There we go. I actually did it on the cheap harpoon. Sweet. Jump <sighs> some hermit, and that's the points you'll get. Um, it depends on it depends on what you pick up, and it's, it's completely random. Three hundred sixteen points. Not too bad. It can't really get much anything with that yet, but we'll see. I'll show you it again later to show, to show what you can get, but we're not going to have to do that for quite a while. Caught it! You've got potential, kid. Here's your reward. 800 rings. Thank you. I should keep things quiet around here for a while. This is my first time fishing, but that was a lot of fun. Oh, you've been bitten by the fishing bug, have you? I think I have. Can I have another go? Can I have another go? Hmm, okay, I'll get things ready. Come back again in a while. I'll set things up for you to, so you can fish here. Great! Ah, one other thing. I'll take the junk you obtained by fishing and give you something in return too. Junk? The parts from the battleships the herbs have on their backs. Stuff like that. It might look like scrap, but there will be real treasure in there sometimes. Yes, just click junk and you earn points. You can exchange points for custom parts and... And pea crystals! Better warn you though, you have to pay for harpoons from now on. What? Now you want my money? Takes time and money to repair these things after you use them, you know. Okay, I understand. It is a lot of fun doing this. Right, so. So, so. Uh, how about telling me about that shrine that this place used to have? Well, it is just short. So the hermit crabs here take battleships and islands as their homes. Giant hermit crabs. Not so long ago, a hermit crab went off with an entire island that had a shrine on it. Oh boy. You need to get to the shrine, you have to go fish that hermit crab, yep. Aha, so that's why you made me do that fishing first. Thanks. No problem at all. Ah, another thing about that hermit crab. A girl from the orphanage claims to have seen the hermit crab in the question, yep. Yeah? Girl from the orphanage. Got it, thanks for the tip. Go right up the path there and just keep keep on a going to get to the orphanage from here. All right, so let's head off to the to the orphanage. I forget. Can we go this way? Ban the ship. I need to unlock the door to get in. No, we cannot go in there. I think we go there probably next episode. What have you got to say, happy lady? Make our homes here by salvaging salvaging parts from battleships that sank in the cloud sea. Those parts can be everything from scrap metal to working useful machinery. That says Orphanet Fraser. Uh, I don't know what language the first word is, but Fraser is actually the name of the director of this place, or the owner, or whatever. I don't know how these things work. Uh, it sounds incredibly cruel, but there are things to loot here, and I do quite would recommend looting it. This, this is probably not the nicest place to loot stuff from, I 
It does seem pretty damn cruel. But uh, they're not going to use these pea crystals. They're kids. They don't have robots. What, what are they going to use them for? I know, I know. I am a cruel, heartless bastard. But uh, it's pea crystals. Come on now. And music. Music, 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 music. Music, 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 music. I recently picked up, I pretty started listening to, listening to new songs, which are slightly more depressing than what I normally listen to. I've got, I, there's something not really depressing, more melancholy. I quite like that word, melancholy. <laughs> I saw a picture of a collie, as in the dog, with a melon on its head. It's catching melancholy. Sorry. <laughs> really off topic. Um, let's just check how many pecos we got. Um, like a hundred years by some, a hundred years, a hundred reasons by someone whose name I cannot pronounce. And, uh, And somebody else, and uh, Dust and Gold by uh, I think Arrows to Athens. They're quite good. Right, I'm not gonna open anything yet. Cause I'm probably get. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna leave that for now. Let's go meet the kids. Hello, Albert. I'm not talking to you. There's not. That's what's fun things to see in the abandoned ship. Let's talk to Arzane. No bigger to allow than our secret base. This phrase is locked up, so no grown can enter. You kids can get in there then. There's a secret little entrance. Just talk to Miss Fraser. Okay, I assume this is important. Charlotte, stay with my sister. Are you the girl who saw the crab with the, uh, with the shrine on his back? <laughs> Mr. Shrine Crab? Uh huh. Yeah, I saw him. Where? In our secret base, to the left of where Mr. Collie fishes. There's a spot in there for the hermit crab fishing. That's where I saw it. So if we catch the crab there, we can't have a crystal stone too. But the base is locked with the key. You can't get in. Hey miss, why are you dressed up like a boy? Because... It's easy to play in those clothes, so she says. <laughs> hey! Great, then let's play something. What game should we play? Wait a minute! I'm gonna go fish for that crab. You stay here and play. You're joking! I don't know how to play kiddie games! But you're a kid too, aren't you? Uh... <laughs> Poor old Elle. Uh... Let me tell you the real reason why you wear boys clothes. It's easier. I don't wear skirts. I don't do skirts. If you watched the first episode of my uh, Enchanted Focus School was really let's play, I'd just go, why the fuck am I in a skirt? I need to start recording that again. Anyway, Slot the Robo, not, not Enchanted Folk. You're the director here. There's something I need to ask you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm Director Frazier. Oh, my Ed Hunter needs my help? What can I do for you? Would you give me the key to the secret base? Secret base. Oh, that popular fishing spot for the abandoned ship. But why? I locked that place up because it's quite dangerous in there. I'm fishing for a certain crab. That might save the world. <laughs> fishing. I don't expect you to believe this, but the fate of the world rests on this crab fishing. <laughs> oh dear, a rather grave situation. Y you actually believe me? <laughs> I don't really understand what you're saying. But your eyes tell me that you're a good person. Right. They do? There you go, the abandoned ship key. Thanks. But please, make sure you watch out for the kids if they go with you in there. It really is dangerous inside. Abandoned ship key. She okay? Abandoned ship key. <laughs> ship key. Yeah. One thing though, please don't go into the shipwreck tower you can see behind us. Why not? It's very unstable. One wrong move, one wrong step, and who knows what could happen. Very dangerous place. Especially the engine. It could come crashing down at any moment. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, that's not foreshadowing. Anyway, we're up to about 14 minutes. So I'm going to end this off here. So next time on Sword Robo Red the Hunter, we're going to be heading into the abandoned ship to go find that crab. See you guys then.